y'all good afternoon come on in it's sunday afternoon and i'm doing a sh real quick uh sunday dinner it's gonna be short and to the point i am making some chicken potato soup and a squash casserole and that's it we're gonna eat uh light and right today so i already got my chicken uh parts boiling i got eight cups of water and about three pounds of um chicken wing drumettes in the pot i've been boiling them for about 30 minutes now Y'all know I've used this before. It's called Bear Creek Country Kitchen's Creamy Potato Soup Mix. So, this bag here it says it'll feed uh, eight. And that's approximately right. But we're going to stretch it first because I'm going to add some more potatoes to the mix. So, let's see. Here we go. We're going to, as, as you're pouring in the um, potato soup mix, make sure you whisk it in real quick if you don't whisk it in real quick let me get this spoon out of the way it will lump up on you i'm just gonna pour it all in there and start whisking you have to whisk it real quick otherwise it'll it'll lump and clump on you now on the bag on the directions it says to cook it for 15 minutes but mine is going to cook about an hour because i like those uh, dehydrated potatoes cook real nice and soft y'all and as you can see it's already beginning to thicken I'm going to pour some uh, more liquid in there to thin it out a little bit more because i got more potatoes put in there. So we're going to have us a nice pot of chicken potato soup. And it's just that simple. Just get the chicken cooked and then add the mix to it. Uh -oh. Okay. All righty. It's cooking real fast. I'm going to turn that heat down because we don't want it cooking that fast. we got to cook it for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and put another couple cups of water in there. Okay, there we go. Give it some room to cook. Now the chicken, I did season it slightly, but as you all know, I'm cutting back on salt, so I didn't put a lot of salt content in there because the potato mix uh, is a little bit salty, so if anybody wants more salt, they can just add it once they get it into the bowl. So for all practical purposes, that soup is on its way to the table in about an hour so we're going to cover it and let it cook for one hour and we'll be right back and we'll go over how we're going to do this shrimp this not shrimp casserole but squash casserole okay y'all we're going to go ahead and get this uh squash casserole going. i have already cleaned and cooked this is about six this is more than six pounds of squash I'm going to say this is eight pounds of squash. The reason I'm cooking so many is that they were given to Tansy and she brought them home. So I'm going to make squash casserole. One we're going to eat tonight and the other one we're going to uh, save for Thanksgiving. So I'll make a smaller one tonight and a uh, big one for Thanksgiving. Um, okay, we're going to start out with, um, I'm going to be using eight cups of cheese, three cups of um heavy whipping cream and eight eggs and I'm gonna also use some because I really like this uh, Romano cheese topping it is very good it has a great flavor and I'm just adding it into I'm making a mixture to pour into those squash so let me get it right here okay let's get the oh, yeah. mixture going yeah I see they make it like that too at the mm -hmm. deli but I, I'm like, if I don't do it, I want to do it my own self. But okay. now there's regular potatoes that ain't open. I got, I didn't realize there's they my, didn't uh, grab, I mean, There's my liquid mixture. That is a third. I'm going to put yeah. a cup of this Romano got, um, cheese oh. in there. Obviously, oh. I won't be eating a oh. teaspoon of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it all on the toothpick. And uh, to help got thicken this. I'm just gonna put a few bread crumbs in there, okay? And of course, I gotta cut up onion, chop onions, and put in there as well. Have you ever tried prosciutto? Okay, y'all. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in those six eggs, three cups of uh, heavy whipping cream, and that um, Romano cheese. Done. One and done. Ooh, smells real good, y'all real good and I have some um what do you call it? what do you call it some alfredo sauce that alfredo sauce is such a good mixture 
And this is something something that I'm trying. This as an experiment, y'all. You know, I have to put a twist to it each time that I cook something. Just give y'all something new. But the proportions here are huge because I'm using uh, about eight pounds of squash. So you can, of course, um, adjust them accordingly. So. The last thing I'm going to have to put in here is some breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are going to have to firm it up a little bit. About a three-fourths of a cup of breadcrumbs I'm sprinkling in. And then I'll start adding in my cheese. i got six cups of cheese to put in there. And once I do that, I'll go ahead and put it in the pans. I'm going to go ahead and bake all of it. And whatever I'm going to use for Thanksgiving, I will freeze it. And I'll take it back out. And actually, it'll taste better. I'm going to take it back out and thaw it. So, from here, and as far as salt is concerned, about a tablespoon of salt, or uh, in my case, I'm going to use some adobo seasoning. Adobo has a nice flavor to it, and uh, it's broken down between salt and other ingredients, so it's not total salt. I'm trying to back off the salt so I can eat a little bit of this, not a lot. Maybe a good two tablespoons. And of course the cheese is going to make it a little bit saltier. Okay. And let's make sure we get everything stirred up in there. Go ahead with that first bag of cheese. That's two cups. And there goes the fourth cup. I got two more cups to put in. Just get this mixed in real good. This is a lot of mixture here, y'all. It's going to make two nice, large um, casseroles. Okay, so when you see this again, it'll be in the casserole pan. So it's all nice and mixed up now. So that's basically it on how to make uh, squash casserole. And especially coming up on Thanksgiving, if you got a lot of folks coming, by eight pounds will make you two nice large um, casseroles to go in these nice tin pans like this. I'm gonna have two of those and then maybe one small one because I promised somebody I was gonna make them one. So anywho, when y'all see this again, it will be in the pan. Y'all By the way, Smart Start or butter is your choice. I chose Smart Start, one cup, y'all. Okay, y'all, there it is, that beautiful, beautiful uh, squash casserole. I got two of them out of that big old pan of mixture. So we're going to eat this one for dinner, part of it anyway. And this one is going to be cooled off and put into the freezer for Thanksgiving. And, of course, back there is our um, creamy chicken potato soup. I threw a fruit carrots in now. So that's what we're doing for Sunday dinner today. So y'all, it was a quick and easy one. We may throw a salad over there somewhere if anybody wants one. Something cold to drink. And we're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy this quick and easy meal. I'm just going to eat a little bit of each thing and a big old bowl of salad, y'all. So thank y'all for tuning in. You know, today was such a beautiful, wonderful day. I didn't feel like doing a whole lot. So this is what I do. When I when, on those days that I don't feel like cooking a lot, but I'm trying to save myself up, y'all, for Thanksgiving because I think I'm gonna cook a pretty good sized meal for Thanksgiving. So, anyway, the kids are here, they're ready to get a big old bowl of this uh, chicken potato soup and a slice of that uh, uh, casserole and probably some sliced tomatoes or something like that on the side. So, y'all, listen, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Keep praying for one another and for the ills and the things that are going on in these United States and for our neighbors and for our friends. Until I decide to cook again now, love you guys. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. So until I cook again, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. I love you all so, so much. Cut off that TV. Let them act and watch stuff. They on YouTube anyway. Mm -hmm.